NASA has made a startling revelation that has the scientific community terrified. Umoma, the mysterious object that entered our solar system in 2017, is now back. Only this time, it is not alone. But what could this mean? Umamoa is less than a millimeter thin, but very wide, like a sail, harnessing solar radiation to propel itself. The experts are scrambling to make sense of it. Could it be just a one in a million cosmic event? Or is there a more sinister power at play here? The answer is more disturbing than anyone could ever have imagined. An unexpected return. When Umamoa was first spotted in October 2017, the experts had no idea what was coming. At the time, everyone was amazed at how we got to witness the first known interstellar visitor to our solar system in such detail. How amazing is it that we humans have a word for something that literally flies between stars? And so far, even then, we couldn't see the full picture. There was far more to that strange object than just rock and ice. After all, we never even saw it directly only data on monitors that showed some strange readings. Oumuamua did not emit any thermal signals. It had an odd shape and did not even have a tail like a comet. It was the very first object that we had ever discovered that had originated outside the solar system. No one was sure what this thing was exactly. Some said a comet, others said it was a fragment of a destroyed planet, but the hints were right there. This is something that we didn't realize before. It also moved without creating an exhaust or breaking the sound barrier. Umamua's trajectory was oddly precise. It's too close for comfort, as if it were watching, noticing, and then leaving for an unknown destination. And the strange speed boost it got when it was at its closest to the sun should have been our biggest clue that things were about to go horribly wrong. Because just recently, Elon Musk has made a startling revelation. Umamua has been detected again. Until now, astronomers have just detected another something out there blazing into our solar system. It's back into our solar system. And this time, it is not alone. But how is that even possible? Umamua was thought to be just a rock that shot out of our solar system at such a trajectory that it would never come anywhere near us. So how was it back? And more importantly, why had it returned? The answer is far more chilling than you can imagine. A fleet of rocks, the deep space tracking systems at SpaceX, were the first to detect the sudden appearance of Umuamua. It was at the very edge of our solar system, making an entry into the orbits. This object has been traveling through interstellar space for hundreds of millions of years, billions of years. But instead of there just being one signal, there were several. They were not moving around aimlessly either. The smaller rocks, as they were believed to be at the time, were moving with Oumuamua in a set formation. Was it a coincidence or a sign of intelligence? No one was sure at the time, but the return of Oumuamua and its accompanying craft was a concerning development. And in fact, it's not just rotating, it's tumbling. So it's not just going end over end, but twisting, as it does so, the slingshot effect that had accelerated Iguamoa out of our solar system during its first visit should have meant it would be impossible for it to return if it were a normal rock. But here it was, against all expectations, and this time it had brought friends. Right from the get-go, experts started coming up with possible explanations. With a spacecraft, you just reflect light off it, and it's being pushed. They said that the accompanying objects were fragments from Umo Moa's shattering, but their perfect formation discredited that theory rather quickly. Others said these objects were around Umo Moa even during the first visit, but we had failed to detect them. That didn't make sense either, since why would they be able to detect them this time unless they were new? The object's path appears intelligently directed. An expert suggested that we should have a risk assessment scale in place. These objects were moving in sync with Oumuamua, so they had to be moving on a planned route at the very least. Elon presented a different theory. What if it were aliens? What if Oumuamua hadn't been just a rock as we thought, but a spaceship that had come to check our solar system for signs of life? 
and now that it had found out about our existence, it was back with a fleet of other spaceships. The public wanted to call this just a conspiracy theory, but the facts did not lie. The return of Oumuamua when it should have been impossible. The arrival of these new objects, their planned trajectory and coordinated movements, it was all only possible if Oumuamua and its companions were being controlled by an intelligence. It was pushed away from the sun by some mysterious force. All the evidence we had supported Musk's theory. Experts began considering it as a possibility. The most powerful telescopes we have were put on high alert to get a visual on Oumuamua's as soon as possible. But what these telescopes showed was even more startling than what we were expecting. The data just wasn't making sense. Strange findings. Experts studied Oumuamua carefully using the most advanced telescopes, and they found that its surface was far smoother than should be possible. A surface of a spaceship that was ripped apart, and you just see the surface being pushed by reflecting sunlight. It was reflecting light, as if made of a metal sheet, instead of being a rocky surface, as they were expecting. The experts were sure they were looking at an object that was carefully engineered for interstellar travel, something built by an intelligence. And then there was the trajectory of the objects. It wasn't moving in an arc, as if about to get a gravity assist from our sun like the last time. Rather, the trajectory seemed planned. Umumua and its companions were on a route that would most likely put them very close to Earth. This is the trajectory right here. It's kind of close to Mars, but not really. Uh, but it's still pretty far away from Earth. Was this a coincidence? After all, during its first visit, Oumuamua had also traveled quite close to Earth. Was it back with a fleet to conquer us? Or was this a freak occurrence that our science just couldn't explain yet? Experts were baffled. But that's when the experts noticed something even more terrifying. Unlike its first visit, where it sped up and shot past our solar system, this time Oumuamua was slowing down. If it were a natural comet, it was defying the laws of physics by slowing down. But then something weird happened. As it was moving away from the sun, it was slowing down as you'd expect. But it wasn't slowing down fast enough. It just wasn't possible. But Elon and other scientists knew what was happening. This was a sign that someone was controlling this fleet. It was slowing down because it had reached its destination. Our solar system. It was a controlled entry similar to how our space shuttles enter another planet's gravity field and slow down to prevent an impact. The experts were panicking. Everything they were seeing indicated a first contact. Were they about to meet aliens for the first time, or was this just a coincidence? And if it was first contact, what were the intentions? It was fear mixed with curiosity. Even the skeptics were doubting their stance due to the synchronized movements of the objects. I was disappointed. I would have been much more excited if we had found evidence for an alien civilization. The look up close. While other major space agencies were too busy finding their way through bureaucracy, Elon decided to take action. He did not wait for governments or funding. Instead, he directed all the resources of SpaceX towards investigating Umama and its companions. The Starship missions that were ready for launch were repurposed. The shuttles were equipped with close-range observation probes. In a matter of days, Earth was ready to go and meet these new arrivals instead of being a sitting duck. The aim was to intercept the incoming fleet and conduct a deep scan in the process. But there was another hidden objective. Knowing that this could end up being our first contact with alien life, Elon also wanted to make sure that the probe sent on the mission would be able to facilitate communication. This was an unprecedented move in history. When Umama was discovered last October, it was tumbling past the sun at 196,000. Never has a private space agency decided to do a mission like this before any government agency had a chance. Usually they have to go through a lot of bureaucracy just to launch a satellite. But here was Elon circumventing all that. The one question on everyone's mind was, will Elon be the first person to make contact with aliens? Soon they would have their answer. But in the meantime, world leaders were becoming more and more concerned. 
After all, if this was indeed an alien fleet on its way, Oumuamua may be a fully operational probe sent intentionally to Earth's vicinity by an alien civilization. Who could say for sure they had peaceful intentions? They could be here to wage war, conquer our species, or perhaps to enslave us. The public was panicking, and so were the world leaders. They wanted to first find a way to defend Earth before establishing contact. Several military personnel even proposed going on the offensive since they believed these visitors could pose an existential risk to humanity. But for Musk, that was thinking too far ahead, too early. These visitors could very well be here just to talk, maybe to help us advance our own civilization. Umoma did not behave like an ordinary asteroid or give off gas like a comet. We could only know by talking with them. And if these visitors were far more advanced than us, any offensive or even defensive measure may be misinterpreted as an act of war. The very act of trying to shore up our defenses could end up escalating a peaceful situation to a hostile one. Elon proposed that we should signal our presence to the fleet peacefully so that there is no room for error. Communication is the best approach. But that was the issue. How do we talk? For all we knew, these aliens used a communication method we couldn't even detect, let alone respond to before that problem could be addressed. However, humanity was stunned by a new development, the first sighting. As the Umamua fleet drew closer to Earth, telescopes were able to get the first clear images and what they showed was shocking. There were no rocks at all. Umamua, as it stands, is a phenomenal discovery and a really important object. Rather, the experts could make out smooth structures with intricate ridges and shiny surfaces. All the doubts went away. These were clearly alien ships crafted with precision by an advanced civilization. It was impossible to determine what material these were made of, but the craftsmanship made it clear that whatever it was, it was eons ahead of our own technology. The difference was night and day. Even the smartest minds studying the images could not figure out how these spaceships were propelling themselves through space. Humanity was faced with a sobering reality. In front of us was a civilization we had no hope of competing with, a massive, fast-moving visitor to our solar system may have been a probe sent by an advanced alien civilization. Musk's plans for peaceful communications were clearly the best option. Hostility was no longer a thought to be entertained. But then the question arose, how do we communicate? So far, the alien fleet hadn't emitted any signals. Either that was because they hadn't tried to communicate, or perhaps their method of communication was so advanced or drastically different that we couldn't even detect it. Think of it like humans trying to communicate with rabbits using radio signals. With this likely possibility in mind, Elon came up with an intuitive solution. How do we communicate? A new way to communicate. Instead of relying on humans, Elon thought the critical task of communicating with our interstellar visitors should be left to AI. It won't be long though before we can see what AI does around in the physical 3D world. Alongside the most sophisticated sensors ever developed, the probe would be using AI to process and respond to any signals from the alien ships. There would be human oversight of course, but by using this method, there would be very little chance of a mistake happening. To think that it wouldn't be a world leader, but artificial intelligence making first contact was a rather fringe idea, but for Elon Musk, this was the perfect move forward. The AI language model would be able to adapt to whatever form of communication the aliens would use, whether that be electromagnetic waves, lights, mathematical concepts, or even numbers. The shuttle was equipped with the appropriate sensors needed to facilitate all these communication methods. It was the perfect ambassador for Earth. The world was on the precipice of a new era, and its beginning would happen with the launch of these probes. With hope in heart, SpaceX scientists launched the primary shuttle on an intercepting trajectory to Oumuamua's fleet. Oumuamua 
by contrast, is the first observed object to come from outside of our solar system, and what it would discover was mind-boggling. Oumuma, a planned encounter, after launch, the probe called Voyager X came close to the alien fleet, and its broadcast to Earth revealed what the alien ships looked like up close. The thing we called Umama was a marvel of engineering. Its unblemished surface shone with a brilliance no one could have imagined. Umama is less than a millimeter thin, but very wide, like a sail harnessing solar radiation to propel itself. And its design was unlike anything humanity had ever seen. But the real shock came when an initial scan was conducted. The scans showed that the alien ship wasn't built from multiple components like ours. Instead, it was carved out of one single block of an unknown material. The experts couldn't believe their eyes. There were no seams, no construction lines. Not only that, but the surface appeared to be shimmering in the light from the sun. It was absorbing certain wavelengths of light while outputting some of its own. These objects travel between Mach 5 and Mach 20. That's 20 times the speed of sound. At first, the fleet had stayed still as the shuttle approached. But after an appropriate distance had been reached, one of the smaller ships in the fleet moved from its position. It approached the probe and came to rest just a little distance away, as if the fleet had sent out an ambassador of its own. And then, the communication began. The alien craft that had approached the probe emitted pulses of light. But it wasn't random. There was a structure to it, like it was trying to say something. And that's where Elon's decision to incorporate an AI paid off. The AI quickly analyzed the light pulses and recognized them to be a sequence of prime numbers. Perhaps the aliens were trying to get a measure of our technological advancement stage. The AI analyzed the data and sent out a sequence of its own. How strong is this radio wave coming in and what's its frequency, right? And then it was printing out just like those numbers. The alien craft responded and a sort of communication began. This was a great sign. At the very least, it showed that the alien fleet was not going to begin hostility immediately. Rather, they were willing to talk. They may very well be here for peaceful purposes. Otherwise, they could have blown up the probe before it could reach them. Without even sharing a meaningful message, the aliens and humanity began to understand each other's intentions. The world leaders were trying to make heads and tails of what all this meant. Was humanity even ready for this? What should our first message be, and how will we defend ourselves if things turn sour? While the politicians were debating those matters, something extraordinary happened. The data from the probe showed that this fleet was not alone. It was communicating with someone. Signals were being sent to somewhere outside of our solar system. Were they communicating with other spacecraft, or were they signaling home, sharing information on our species? No one could say for sure, but still, it was a scary thing to imagine.